Hey people, this is Wee187, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PC. In the last part, we finished the Rick December Challenge, and then we went outside, and Oliver Wood told us, Hey, let's practice Quidditch, and Harry's like, I haven't eaten lunch yet. And then we're like, and he's like, oh, I don't care. So, anyway, flip handle this thing right here. He gives you beans. Uh, this is like a one-time thing, like... I think you, yeah, only twice or something, and then you can never, like, flipendo him again, so you can't, like, you can't get, like, unlimited beans or anything from him. Uh, that's all he does there, but, you know, better than nothing, right? Well, let's not be lagging here. Um, I should, I should probably close Skype. I have Skype open, and that's probably why, you know, it's being all kind of weird and not wanting to... Listen, uh, anyway, this is we're going to okay. Sure Quidditch. I suck at this, by the way. And the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course, you already know that the red ball is called the quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. Yeah. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. They're purple and Last, weird, you know, code purple. It's your job as our seeker to catch the golden snitch before the enemy seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds okay. easy enough? Yeah, actually, this first part is easy enough. It's just that later on, you know, I, I, I can't, like, stop the other person from catching the snitch before I do. It's just that it's kind of difficult. And you can control him with the mouse, too, uh, I think, right? Yeah, you can. Um, you just get close, and then just press, like, the like jump button or something when you get when you're close enough and that's the meter on the bottom there and I can do one on like here because it's easy but cause, you know it kind of like drags you along manually as well like it was harder in the first game but uh, you know once it fills up you just catch it and that's it but whoa or bludger now we can just catch it there and you catch it and that's it it's really easy but later on when you know he's gonna do a practice thing and I can't win this thing and I can't win the normal Quidditch match either so I don't know why it's you know I'm going to have a Gryffindor it doesn't matter it doesn't change the story or anything it's just like well you know Harry's supposed to catch it not some other random player so yeah and this is like you know oh well I don't really care I don't know like who's going against me either cuz like they don't I mean in the books they have names like Angelina Johnson and stuff. I don't know who I'm actually going against here. Alright, you wanna start? Okay, so... Yeah, and the person already has like a heads up thing for you, and now you just have to chase the snitch, but then you have the other person's catching up to you as well. See, yeah. It looks like Katie Bell. And you can try to knock into her, but it doesn't really change anything. Like... You know, no matter what... Hey, get off there. Get off there. Don't you dare catch it. It's my snitch. I'm gonna catch it this time. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna... Hey! No, she's gonna catch it. She's gonna catch it. No, yeah, she caught it. See, she caught it. I can't stop her from catching it. No matter what. You know, it's really stupid. I don't know what. You know, and he's like, oh, you did awesome, everybody. I'm, on, I'm back on form. Don't look now, but here comes a Slytherin team. But I don't really care. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for today. Hey, they've got new brooms and, and it looks like yes, they are. They're just two thousand and ones. Wow. Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Yeah, we all know like this pretty much. Brooms, I assume. Weasley, what are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. Oh. You pay for that one now, Foy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley. Unlike you. Yeah, they skipped the whole slugs thing here, so. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. You know, I'm kind of glad they do, because that would just be mean more cutscenes. And, you know, this game isn't really meant for cutscenes, it's meant for the gameplay. Mudblood, so, the nasty yeah. name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A soggy different chill. kind of chill would soon set in as well. Anyway, yeah, okay, now we have the next class to go to. Oh, it's loading again and again and again. I used to say that when I was really little. Every time this screen showed up, it's be like, oh, it's loading again and again. Because uh, it used to take really long on, on our old computer. We don't want to be late. It still takes you know long here. Like. 
It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. Alright, so we have to follow Hermione. Yeah, like my computer before this was even slower than this one, and this one's now getting really slow. Well, it's not that it's bad, it's just really obsolete now. I mean, there's way better computers. Ooh, can I make the carpet? Yeah, I made the carpet. Um, there's way better games out there. Anyway, or not games, I mean, uh, uh, computers out there. Uh, you can do this here, get a little few beans, but uh, we can't do much with the secret yet. Just get these initial beans, because you don't have a spell for that carpet yet. We will, we will, eventually. Um, you know, that'll be more much later in the game, in the second half of the game and all that. You know, we'll have stuff for that. But not now, not now. Oh, there's spiders. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, r like random spiders in this game. Or oh, I know why they're there, but I like how they integrate them into the gameplay and stuff, too. Uh, but, you know, we'll come across that later. There's usually people over here wanting to sell or sell stuff for beans, but I suppose not now. now. Pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Huh. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. All right. I, I really like Snape, even though, you know, everyone, will restore you know, I don't know. Lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Yeah, I think just after reading the seventh book, I just gained a ton of respect for Snape. And, uh, you know, I know there's still people who still don't like him. I'm not going to spoil for those who haven't read the seventh book, because those are pretty, you know, spoiler-heavy stuff. But I gained respect for him. So, anyway, uh, it's, before I do that, I want to... Can I... Going, boy? Oh, I want to go get that treasure chest. Okay, fine, I'll do this first. Um, anyway, yeah, you go over to the potion here. These are the cauldrons I was talking about. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the and mixing them. And th that happens, so... Careful, Potter. <clears throat> Change my water. House points. Mr. Potter now <sighs> has ah, such good water. Potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Press space Those bar. Those adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan World potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan Weld potions can be made. All right. And the so yeah. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture: the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Flubberworm mucus extraction. Oh my God, that's actually kind of interesting. I must admit. I thought I knew everything I wanted to about worm mucus, and I was right. <laughs> Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snape comes out. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, this whole thing that? again. What was what? That voice. It was coming from over there. Come on. Yeah, I am afraid that, um... I don't know, this might be a little bit of a cutscene-heavy video. At least com in comparison to the rest of the game, this is like where all the cutscenes just suddenly happen. And it's not like this. Like in any other part of the game, they just like dump a bunch of cutscenes. And they're not long. I mean, we'll have stuff to time to do stuff in this video. But still, you know. Anyway, yeah, it takes us over here. And this whole thing happens. You know, if you've seen the movie or read the books, you know what this is about. Yeah, and Mrs. Norris is petrified oh, and all that. That's horrible. What's going on? It's crazy. Enemies of the air, beware. You'll be next, mudbloods. Well, Ron's a pureblood. Oh, you could call him a blood traitor, but still. She's been petrified. But how? I cannot say. Huh. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Okay. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. 
Oh, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I gotta change that thing on my laptop. I forgot to, work, so it doesn't go to sleep after ten minutes. It almost did it again. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on a wall. Rumors and speculation spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. You know, tight-lipped. I like how they, I don't know, tight-lipped is such like a vivid adjective, or I don't know what it is, but you know, just a vivid, yeah, tight-lipped is like an, you know, an adjective like that, you know, you're tight-lipped. I, I guess it could, yeah, an idea about yeah. What? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, we have Charms class next, and this is actually one of the more interesting challenges. It's still uh, a bit easy, but, you know, we, we get some new stuff here, and the fire crabs are going to be a little bit harder and stuff, so I, I guess we'll start it in this episode. Um, yeah, we'll start it so that way we can get into it. Maybe I'll, like, let this video stretch an extra few minutes or so, so we can, you know, get to the first save point in there, and then I'll stop. Hurry up, Harry. We don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. How'd you get up all the way over there? I mean, I, I don't even know. But I'm not going to bother to ask. Let's just climb, you know, the climb of these floating stairs. It reminds me... Actually, I don't know what it reminds me of. It just... I don't know. It probably reminds me of the actual... I mean, this, this is actually much bigger in the book, not just four floors, but... You know, whatever. And Filch is there because, you know, you can see the thing there and it gets all weird music and all that and all that, so, and all that. I say that way too much. Anyway, here's Charms. Welcome to Charms class. Today, we shall be learning the Scourge Charm. Oh, I have the whole thing to do with the arrow keys again. Oh, crap. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Yeah. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts. Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yep. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing with a great monster to guard the chamber from within. Indeed. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. So, all yeah. Nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. You know, it's funny, because in the game they ask uh, Professor Flitwick. In the movie, they ask Professor McGonagall. And in the book, they ask Professor Binns, Try who's not actually on all not in. Chamber of the, well, he, I think he appears dash. once in the first movie the for a second, but that's it. You. The wand is about to so, move so anyway, we have this thing. Let's not fail at this time. At the exact point Hopefully I'll be okay. passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. Let's do it. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? I am ready. Round one. Go. Okay, yeah, this is fine. I can do this. I'm not going to mess up. Here we go. I better not mess up. All right, one more, one more. Come on. No, come on. Oh, I did it. I pressed the button. Give it another try. I don't know why. I I I swear it's not me because I'm doing it right in my practice run. I do it all perfectly, and it's not that I'm just because I'm LPing that makes it worse. No, I think. See, I'm actually pressing the button and nothing's happening. It's when I record it lags, so I uh, I have to do this one more round. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm sorry. Another try. I'm gonna try pressing it two times. Oh, see, look at that. I pressed it. And nothing happens. Yeah. All right. You know, whatever. Give it another try. Oh, another time? Okay. Oh, you know how how many times you can make me do this? Seriously, come on. Careful, I, 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 why did they go out at the same time? I wasn't even at that one yet. All right, let's do this again. I, I'm so, I'm, I'm really good at this. I just did. Uh, okay, never mind. Give it another try. He's gonna make me do it perfectly too. It's annoying. I'm not gonna get full house points. I'm not gonna get to go to. The, I might be able to go to the bean bonus room again. I don't know. If I can get this, I don't know how many more tries it's going to allow me to take. There we go. About time. There's only round well one, too. Done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Okay, I still get my five points. That's round good. Round two. Go. All right. 
One, two, one, two. I mean, you're pressing right and left. That's all it is. Yeah, there we go. See? That's all it takes. It's really easy. I don't know why I'm messing up. I, it's just the recording. I swear, because I'm, I'm, like, I can do this fine. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Yeah. Ten points to Gryffindor. I know, right? Round three. Go. All right. That way, that way, that way, that way. Up, up. Left, right, left, right, up, up. Okay? Left, right, left, right, up, up. Left, right, left, right, up, up. Okay, we did it now. I don't know why, like, it suddenly got fine again. You've completed all of the necessary exercises. I'm, I guess I'm pressing the keys harder. I don't know. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. You bet. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Yeah, this is a fun challenge that we have coming up. I, I enjoy it personally. I, I like it a lot more than the Rick Semper challenge, to be honest. Because it's more dungeon -y. Harry Potter to my Scourge challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Yup. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Indeed. All right, can try we get going now? We're running really low on time here. seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. All right, sounds good. Okay, let's hurry up. Um, ectoplasm yeah, is we're going to talk about ectoplasm now. Left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. Indeed. So finally we can get rid of this slimy stuff here. There we go. Alright, I need to- I'm gonna find a save point, then I'm stopping, I'm sorry. I wanna continue, and I probably will record another video, I just- I don't- I don't wanna let these videos run over 10- or 15 minutes, so... Anyway, uh, but I don't- I do wanna be still a completionist a bit. So, you know, we wanna get all the stuff that we can, there's nothing there, I don't think, is there? Is there- I don't- no, there's nothing here, there's that- just the- just the cauldron. Um, and, uh, what you, ha what you have to do here... Scourge to free items that have been trapped by yeah, you can't flipendo that completely until you get rid of the scourgey things here, so... Uh, okay. Alright, there we go. And now, let's see if we can flipendo this all the way. I think it's three times. No, maybe four times, okay. Yeah, there we go. And now, also, if you go down here... You actually do want to jump down because there's a bronze wizard card right here. And you want to make sure you get it. If you can let me get it, please. Please. There we go. Good game, good game. So let's climb back up now. Oh my god, we're at 18 minutes. That's crazy. I feel so bad because I don't want to go over time at all. But uh, I guess it just can't be helped now. I mean, I haven't had access to a save point at all, so. Um, oh, the save book right there. Okay, cool. Hey, I don't need the frog. Who cares about the frog? Oh, I got the frog. He jumped into me. Anyway. Okay, I'm saving here. And in the next part, we will get on to the next part. So, oh, that made that was very redundant. Uh, anyway, if you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe. We'll continue on with the Scourge Challenge, and it'll be fun, because I really like this dungeon. Okay, bye, everybody.